What's new, pussycat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's new, pussycat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Morning, everybody. Chunky here with you this morning. Um, starting out day five, it is currently 63 degrees. It is Saturday, October 31st, and the sun is shining. We're going to get started this morning, um, work on our next little project in here. Um, you guys seen in the video last night, uh, we put up a new TV stand and a new TV and we're going to continue working on the living room today and I've got a little something that I'm going to show you what we're changing next. I'm going to flip this around and you guys will see it. We are taking out the original couch to this trailer and we're going to put in a memory foam futon in its place. The old couch is broke down, wore out, there's no cushion left in it. So this is going to go in its place. I'm going to go see what it's going to take to get this old couch out. And of course, I will bring you guys along for it. See you in the next clip. Alrighty, guys, here is our original couch. You know, that wonderful floral thing that they got going on from 2006. If you guys can see it, it is broke down in the middle. And I can fit my fist in there. So sitting on this couch is no longer comfortable. So we are going to get it changed out. Let's see what it takes. All right, we are going to start out with a size 13 deep well on a ratchet. And we are going to take those two on this side out. And there's another two down there that I'm gonna take out. Alrighty, <clears throat> got the bottom cushion off. It was just those four thirteens. Yes, I need to vacuum underneath in there, and this is the best opportunity to do it. Let's see what it takes to get the back off now. Alrighty, I had to lay the back cushion down to be able to access bolt and bolt, and then there he is. Two more down on the other side, and then we should be able to take this back cushion off. Alright, so what I had to do is I had to push the back up to be able to access this because of this. So I spoke wrong. But yes, just the two 13s on this side. And then I'm going to flip around and get the other two from that side. Alrighty, as you guys just seen, I pulled the bolts out and we were able to get the back cushion off. Let's see what it takes to get the base out. Alrighty, to get this steel base off, it looks like all I have to do is pull a Phillips there. There, anyway. And there is one here. And I think there just might be two on each side. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull those out and uh, we will see if that's all it takes. And that's all it takes. Those two screws. And I've got two to do here, there, and there. And then I should be able to lift this base off. Already got the steel base removed. As you guys seen, I just took out the four Phillips head screws. And there's the base. Now I get to work on pulling the support boxes out because I no longer need them. Let's see what that entails. Alright, it looks like all it's going to take to get this base out is one square head, two square head, there's another one there. 
and that looks like it. So let's see if we take those out, if this thing will come out. And there's support number two. Um, we'll get this all cleaned up and we'll get to the next step. And just like that, the old couch from new is gone. Some will get it all swept up, all dusted, all that happy stuff, and then we'll move on to getting the new futon in. See you in a minute. Alrighty guys, we have actually decided to change the position of the couch to, well, the point we can turn it either way. to this position when we're parked somewhere, and then this area is going to be left open. We're not going to put anything big, heavy, or bolted down in this position so that when we go to travel and we roll the slide in, we can just flip the couch this way so that it's off and we can roll the slide in. With it out like this, in this position currently, we can sit across and watch the TV. Once again, don't mind the mess, but we can sit across and watch the TV. We have our little cubes for footstools or little coffee table. We can still access our food. Still access the radio or 12 volt. And we still have a little spot to put stuff when we're parked somewhere for long periods of time. Um, we believe this is going to be the best solution for us right now. Like I said, gonna leave this wide open so when we travel, we can take this and flip it this way and it'll be so we can roll the slide in. That's what I got for you right now, guys. I'll bring you guys back here shortly. Morning, everybody. Cat here. Hey, y'all. Trying to get here. I'm driving. We hope all is well uh, with everybody. Um, once again, I didn't get a true intro for the Happy video. Happy Halloween. Trick or treat. Yes, it is October 31st. 11.50 in the morning, Chuck says it's 78 degrees outside. There's some cloud coverage, so it's not as bright and sunny, but it's still a pretty day. Not having to wear the hoodie this morning yet. Okay. I was bad again today. I didn't get a true intro. I got started early, uh, trying to get as much out of each day as we can. Um, so I guess this is our middle of the video intro. Hi. Um, got the couch ripped out, got the new futon in, um, we decided the position we wanted it to be in, um, which is going to work best for us. Like I said, we're going to turn it so when we do pull the super slide in, that we have the space just to be able to turn it and it'll just ride the slide and when we get parked again we can change it's, it. And it's movable so we can have it either way. It's actually relatively light for what it is, um, but we are on our way to Parker again for a few more supplies. Um, there's more to come, but uh, we like bringing you guys along with us. As always, thank you everybody for your support and kind words and encouragement. And it's been one hell of a, a transformation. Um, it's very lifting. It, it like literally weighed off our shoulders and weighed off the troll troller trailer, the RV. Dead um, weight basically but um yeah feel a little more confident pulling it down the road now that the back end won't fall off there was no saving the box for those that keep um we've had people question why we didn't save it you know and size wise yes internally it only gave us 10 inches um it took by the time the, the whole box was said and done and it was slid out yes it looks bigger on the outside but internally wall space it only gave an additional 10 inches to make the bottom bunk mattress a little bit wider. I uh, don't know the exact measurement of the um, bottom bunk size, but it into the wall extending out to the slide, it only added 10 more inches internally in the room. The box, yes, on the outside looked bigger and all that, but 
it's the box couldn't be saved there was no saving it and it's one less mechanical thing we have to worry about and it just it's a more sturdy we can put um, shelving back up in there you know bookcases or something and is there yeah. I do have I am in the planning stages for another future video of something special we are planning to do to um, increase our off-grid living capabilities just a, just a little more. Um, I will bring you guys along for that ride as well, but that's still in the planning stages and not going to spoil what it is, but it's an ongoing process and you know, we're making our, our home even homier and it feels good. So, and Chunky's busted his butt this week. Deserve a happy meal. But more to come for you guys. <laughs> Stay tuned. Um, I'm, I'm gonna have some more clips for you after this. But just wanted to pop in and say hello. Um, Hope you guys have a good day. We'll see you in the next clip. Bye, guys. What? What did you okay. say? And if you want to bring one they have the vent lids, up. and I need to replace one. And she made sure to point out unbreakable because I'm the one who broke the other one. Well, it broken the up position of the gas twisty gas thing, gas but gas he gas smacked gas holes gas. in it. This is the guy, it's not a, it's a mannequin, but I stood here yesterday and I was trying to reach behind him looking at this stuff and I wasn't trying to disturb him until I realized it was a mannequin and then I punched it in the face. But, oh yeah, fun, fun, fun. Welcome back guys, we are back from Parker. Um, picked up a few more supplies to continue my day. Um, I picked up a couple more things for our screen door repair. You guys seen a couple clips of that yesterday where I put the new grab handle and the new regular door handle on. I picked up a couple other things to add and help secure our door some more as well as um, fix something else that's broke. So I'm going to flip this around and show you guys what we got. We picked up a new slider because ours is cracked and broke. And we also picked up a metal guard for the bottom of the door so the cats don't push out. So I'm going to get these on there and I'll bring you guys along for it. Got the new slider in and it works really well. Alrighty guys, I have got the new slider in, the new grab handle in, the new regular handle in, and then got the new pet screen thing in. That's a much, much sturdier door now compared to the flimsy dealio we had before, but hopefully that's it for the door. See you guys in a minute. Alrighty, I've got the door as finished as it's gonna get right now. There's another thing that we picked up today to add to our trailer, and I'm gonna flip it around and show you guys. We got a pop a plate and a pop a napkin. These mount underneath the cabinet above the sink. It'll look better when it's out of the box. That's not a good representation, but it holds paper plates, so you can just grab a paper plate. It also opens up storage in the cabinet so we don't have a stack of paper plates, as well as the napkins, instead of the napkins being all over the place. This mounts underneath the cabinet and you grab your napkin. So I'm going to get these put in next and uh, I'll see you guys there. So this is our pop-up plate. I, we got some plates put in it and now I've just got to pop the top ring off and throw some screws in it in the cabinet. We are going to put it <laughs> right here so that the plates are ready to grab just right there. And you're supposed to just be able to grab a plate and pull it out. Without ripping it off the cabinet. Without ripping it off the cabinet. <laughs> so I'm going to get this put up and I'm going to throw it in a time lapse. I'm going to do the pop and napkin as well. And it's the same concept the napkins go in. So we'll see you guys in a minute.
So pop a plate is in. Just take a plate. And then I can't find the rest of our napkins, but pop a napkin is in. And you just have to grab a napkin. Which that's that's actually really cool. Did you see that one? Look at the napkin. Compared to ripping the whole thing out of the napkin holder, like that one, it just pulls straight out. It holds them in place. Pinch the bottom. Mm hmm What do you think? Looks good. Alrighty guys, moving on to something on the side here. Over the summer, we've had to vacuum our air filter, which you should do anyway. Uh, in doing so, and taking it out and putting it in and taking it out and putting it in, it's worn it down. So if you look, what we had to do was I had to take painter's tape to hold it in place so it wouldn't get sucked clear up in the air conditioner. And also not totally destroy. But I have got painter's tape <laughs> through the inside of the thing. So we actually picked up a replacement filter because, look, if I don't know if you can see how thin it is. <laughs> but and that would have sucked right up in the all the holes ripped through that were the that these hold they all ripped through because this has been taken out and putting in a couple times a week trying to keep up with the dust and the dirt but I'm gonna get the new air, air filter put in I just figured I'd show you guys this it's good every now and then to take a vacuum up in there fun 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 I almost tripped. <laughs> I backed over my rug. <laughs> and the painter's tape comes off. He was going to use the Gorilla Tape and uh, yeah, that wouldn't have been very good. That's Velcro type stuff, right? Mm -hmm. You said countless times putting it in and taking it out to clean it. The holes just ripped through, and that's the material that was left behind from it. But you can pick uh, your new filters up at your local Walmart. This one is for our Coleman air conditioner, and it'll right down in there and back up into place. That's what our top air is, isn't it? The Coleman? It is a Coleman 15,500 BTU air conditioner. And see, those things aren't very thick to begin with. No. And it's green side up. Part of the packaging it says installed with green side towards the roof. So this side, your green side compared to your white side needs to be at the roof. I actually read the directions. Ha ha ha. But yes, it just sets down in. And you push it down into the Velcro. And then that's our new air filter. And we don't have the ugly blue painter's tape peeking through. <laughs> See his, we got a couple of those cubes to fit into the TV stand. We got the right size cubes, I should say. All righty. Always lock it because if not, it falls down and hits her in the head. Final walkthrough of the day. Good evening, everybody. Cat here. <laughs> Chuggy here. Um, we are closing out day number five. Um, stopping with the recording a little early today because I am just, I'm done. I've done enough. I'm going to sit back and relax. I'm supposed to get back up in the mid to upper 90s the next four days. Um, so everything's going to be put on hold. But Look at the fat belly. Look at the fat belly. But... Um, I want to say again, I appreciate everybody that stuck around and watched and supported our our last five videos, including this one. Um, I disturbed him. I'm sorry. 
but the videos will come back. It's just going to be a couple days before I get working on something else. I've got plenty more to do. Uh, I'm just going to take a couple days to recuperate because it's supposed to be wicked hot anyway. So having the trailer... <laughs> wicked hot. It's still not going to be triple digits at least. Having the trailer wide open doing that's not going to be any fun. So we're going to sit and enjoy the air conditioning. But... Um, you have anything? No. Just thanks for hanging out with us and as we've said before, the um, suggestions, comments, uh, ideas and all that. And we appreciate everybody that comes and checks us out and, and is hanging with us for the ride. Chunky's busted his butt this week. I'm very pleased with his efforts and I'm very appreciative of his efforts and it's looking really homey, so. And he's pooped. <laughs> so. Until the next time, guys. You know, we love you, and thanks again for all the support. Yes. And we will see you soon. Thanks. Hugs from Quartzite. Bye, guys. Bye, love guys. you. Say bye to everybody. Say bye.